Pulling through Montana in the snow, we cling to the taillights of the last car blurring back into the darkness. Like the inside of a coffin, my father says, as if knowing the exact shade, the Dead Sea, lying stiff, frozen eyes peering up through closed lids. He shifts in his seat, watches the road disappear, thinks again of dying and the burials we've seen, his father's simple reduction to ashes. How small the urn, how light, for a man that stood 6'3", carried a boy on his shoulders, lived on trains as a youth, picked apples as a man. This past summer, watching him thin to disappearing, blurring out lines between lives, my father trying to return pieces, fragments, time, the body burning, the dark smells of crematoriums, funeral homes, and pale-faced lawyers. Something merges, ends, and begins. My father placing the ashes back into the air, offerings to the skies, to the seas, unaware how Buddhist he is at this moment, how the faint sound of bagpipes echoes, how the ashes fall catching light, reflecting something back into the silence, the dark birth of the sun coming into view. The Mortician's Bookkeeper. You arrive early to work, clothed in a careful black which you peel off layer by layer till white-sleeved and tieless you descend into the stacks, crunch numbers until the sun slips out through the back door. When things are slow, you too might slip into a crowd of strangers, fill an otherwise empty room, or watch a casket burn in the brick oven. Sometimes you help the dead dress, comb back a loose hair, close an eye, add color to their drying lips. Some are so light you could lift them with a hand placed under the neck, another arm stretched out to gather the body at the knees and walk like a mother with a sleepless child in a slow circle by the window light or the way a man with calloused hands might carry his new bride up a long, dark flight of stairs. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll close with uh, this last one from uh, a new project I'm working on. I might not suspect this, but my background was originally in computer science, and I worked <laughs> as a computer games programmer for many years. Um, so the new project revolves around the world of computers. Extern, or a variable defined outside any function block. Beyond this moment and the cubicle space I leave behind, something else exists. The freeway at 3 a.m., bare, silent, a crease in the troubled skin of the city, the thin gray waterway I drift in, drink in, disengaged, without clouds, light, or memory, the car carrying me forward on autopilot, and my eyes blank to the world full of the invisible grace of gravity, what holds us in place at every turn keeps us from sliding into the concrete walls which divide us from oblivion. Everything outside us contains us. At home, the vacant bed, the sheets unstirred, the sound of the upstairs neighbor making love, the creak and bang of her wooden frame shifting above me against the walls while I sit, sleepless, before the gray mask of the TV screen, dumb, numb, to the pantomime of fire flickering across the length of the empty living room, the dull end of dull. Some nights I hear a man on the street below cursing at an invisible stranger. You betrayed me, you betrayed me, you will pay. Uncollared dogs prowl beyond him and the girls on the corner in their short skirts bare their teeth pale and broken. A ragged young man digs with one hand down the gutter drain, trying to pull something free before it slips forever out to sea. Sometimes I dream of the ghost of a bird, its eyes dark like mine, asleep in the fold of a tree, its shadow the shape of a harp. <laughs> <laughs>